Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at this creative new live catch mousetrap that was invented by one of my YouTube viewers from Seattle named Jerome. Jerome is a toy designer by trade. He came up with this mousetrap design and was able to make it on his 3D printer. I'm calling it Jerome's Printed Pretzel Prison. That's a little bit of a tongue twister, but when we go to set it, you'll see why I call it that. Now the components of the trap consist of two plastic boxes. The larger one has a clear lid so you can see inside, and the smaller one slides out like this. The smaller one has printed in it a tube. It's amazing what detail you can include with a 3D printer. This trap also consists of a little cap here and a rubber band for an engine. Now I call it the pretzel prison because the pretzel is not only the bait, but it's also the trigger. He sent me some pretzels to use with this trap. He got them from Trader Joe's. They're the honey wheat. They're not only delicious, but make great mousetrap bait. And we're gonna set this now. I'll show you how it works. You put one end of the pretzel in that tube like that in the smaller box. And then this cap here goes on the end of the pretzel. That keeps it from sliding around and directs the mice to chew right in the middle. Then you put these two traps together, just like that. Now you'll notice there's a space here for the mouse to climb down. When they chew through that pretzel, it will close and then you got them. Now the engine for the trap is a rubber band. He included a rubber band that you fold in half. Now this trap also has printed in it grooves that you put the rubber band on that goes all the way around. So I'll put this on and show you how it works. There we go, that's pretty simple. The rubber band wants to pull these two boxes together and close off the space. The mouse climbs down in there, finds the snack of the pretzel, starts chewing on it till it breaks open. And it has my finger. I think this is gonna work. It might take a little while for the mouse to chew completely through the pretzel, but when it does, it'll be sitting there in the box. Now I would test this out with my pet mice, but I feed them so well, they're not really motivated by food and I don't know if they chew through the pretzel. So we're gonna go set this up with motion cameras in the barn, see if we can get the wild mice. They definitely love the pretzels. Last night we set up Jerome's 3D printed pretzel prison in the barn. Mouse climbed in there, chewed through the pretzel, released that trigger, the rubber bands closed the trap, and we got them. The only improvement that I would suggest is adding some vent holes. It's a little foggy in there, but it does work. Stay tuned because I have quite a few different 3D printed traps that YouTube viewers have come up with and have sent me, so we'll test those out in the future. But since this is a live animal trap, we're going to let this guy go. To release the mouse, I'm going to take the rubber band off pull the trap apart just like this and he can climb out. Thank you so much Jerome for making this trap and letting me test it out. I'll put a link to his portfolio down in the description since he's really creative and makes toys and different things but your trap is great. Thanks Jerome. Jerome's 3D printed pretzel prison, a really creative mouse trap. If you've invented a really cool mouse trap, let me know and I might test it out on the channel.